In this video, we are going to learn how to write VHDL code for a simple logic gate called AND gate and the end execution of this AND gate in EDA playground. This is the logic symbol for AND gate and the expression is equal to C is equal to A dot D. It is a 2 input AND gate, so output C is equal to A dot D. So, output of output of AND gate is equal to 1 when all the inputs are equal to 1. As here, we are having only 2 inputs. So when both the inputs are equal to 1, 1, then only the output is equal to 1. Coming to the HDL program, first two statements are, first two statements are uh, library statements or header files, library IEEE, you will IEEE.std underscore logic underscore 1164.all, entity and gate is port A comma B inputs C output and entity name. So the entity is uh, entity is uh, simply naming your uh, architecture. So the name of the name of my architecture is AND gate. Name of my design is AND gate, and it is having two input ports and one output port. So entity uh, entity will uh, uh, declare uh, name of the name of the design and input and outputs. Coming to the architecture, architecture, architecture name. I am taking my name of the architecture as ECE. So architecture ECE of Entity name is entity is end gate. Then begin program here is C assignment A and B. Here we use assignment symbol in order to assign the inputs to output. So A and B, I am directly using the keyword, I am directly using the keyword called A and B in between A and B. In between A and B. So A and B will undergo to this end logic and assign to C. In the ending uh, the architecture. Coming to test bench, first two statements are the library statements, and then entity for end gate is always an uh, sorry, entity under the test bench is always an empty one because here we are calling the component of the of the of the uh, VHDL program. So here the component we have uh, we have to call is the entity of the main program that is end gate. So end gate has been called as component over here, and then the default uh, signal signal values for A and B are zero zero. If you want, you can change it. And coming to output signal C underscore STD underscore uh, C STD underscore logic. Then board mapping. And here where we have given the program. So we uh, here we have declared uh, the default signal 00, zero and zero, 00 has to be waited for uh, first 100 nanoseconds and then zero, 01 wait for 100 nanoseconds, 10 wait for next 100 nanoseconds and 11 one, one waits for the remaining time. So this is what is the uh, and get program and test with this is the simulation result we will execute and see I'm copying the program control C the EDA playground click on it select your language as VHDL select the language as VHDL now in order to execute it you have to log in through your uh, uh, Google account So copy control C paste. So this is what is the AND gate program and then copy the test bench. Control C Then after selecting VHDL language, you have to select top entity as the entity of the test bench. So entity name of the test bench is this endgate underscore TV underscore VHD. Copy paste. And then select tool. Select. Okay. This is what the tool that you have to select. It's up to you whether it is 1000 uh, minutes. Uh, 1000 nanoseconds or 10 milliseconds. Uh, you can give that over here and then click on run button.
few times it will come if you want to delete it delete select the signal and delete select the signal delete now you can validate your simulation so 0 0 output is equal to 0 then 0 1 0 1 0 1 output is equal to 0 then 1 0 output is equal to 0 next 1 1 the output is equal to 1 so this is the time duration where we are we have mentioned about okay sometimes uh, you are supposed to select the signals first let me uh, delete all the signals here delete delete you can go to this get signals click on it and select all the signals up and down yes in here you can check the result now you can change your program from and to or or to nand nand to nor nand to nor uh, anything we can write over here we know the, we know how to write the remaining program so uh, execute it using idiot playground thank you